Hey guys, I hope everyone's doing good. I uh, hope everyone's enjoying their Labor Day weekend. I did happen to get the Mauser M18 out to the range to do an actually test. I would like to thank two people. I would like to thank Orion Fixer for recommending just using a scope that I happen to have. And I would also like to thank Edweiser63 for uh, letting everyone know in the unboxing video of the Mauser M18 that if you do pick one of these up, I believe at Euro Optics, you can get a Minox scope for half off. That's 50% off when you get one of these bolt action rifles. So to the both of you, thank you very, very much. And uh, let's see what this thing can do out on the range. We're going to do uh, a few different ammo tests out of this. I'm not going to cherry pick groups. I'm just going to shoot normally. Uh, it's been a long time since I shot even 100 yards. I think it's about eight months. And then we're going to get another shooter. We're going to have Ali Bell go out there and shoot the same rifle. Uh, so you get two different people behind the rifle. We're just going to shoot off of a uh, table and have the rifle bagged. Uh, why are we not like putting this in a vise or a uh, lead sled? Um, the reason being, because most people who are going to be shooting this particular type of rifle are going to be hunting most likely and not going to be doing uh, bench rest shooting and shooting for the smallest group they can. So we're going to put this in slightly a real life type situation and uh, just have it rested on a bag. Um, we could do shoot, uh, shooting while we're sitting and standing, but then it's going to show more of our faults with the rifle rather than what the rifle can do in a, a real-world hunting situation. So anyhow, like I said, Orion Fixer and Edweiser63, thank you very much, and uh, we're going to go right back to the, uh, to the shooting part. Hey guys, how you doing? We finally got the uh, the Mauser M18 out, and we finally got it on paper. This first plate here is just sighting in, one shot, two shot, and then from there just an inch up. Uh, the first ammo we used was the American Eagle 140 grain open tip match, 6.5 Creedmoor. And these are the uh, third, fourth, and fifth shots the rifle ever put down on paper, and it's .571 with the cheap ammo. So. And I'm not cherry picking groups, I just, th these are how the shots went. First set shot, second shot, third, fourth, fifth. Next box, we went to uh, the Hornady Precision Hunter, which is 143 grain ELDX ammunition. Um, and it opened up a bit, went to 1.346 inches. What can you say? Like I said, I'm not going to cherry pick groups, I'm just going to shoot the rifle. Um, it was shot on a bench. Um, but just on a bag. So sitting on a bench, rifle resting on a bag. Next ammo was the Hornady Superformance uh, 129 grain SSTs. Uh, group opened up a whole lot to a little over three inches, 3.091 inches with the uh, 129 grain SSTs. And the fourth box was Hornady 147 grain ELD match ammunition. And that got down to 1.582 inches at 147 grains. I'm sure that these ammos will all shoot better, but I think it's just ironic how I'm just using a natural break um, with how I'm shooting. I, I haven't shot long range in probably eight months now, if you consider 100 yards long range. But it was interesting to see that the absolute cheapest of the ammos that we use today actually got our nicest group. And I realize that these are just three round groups, but it's not a long range precision rifle it's a hunting rifle and this is what I got out of mine and you guys can expect the same or similar and if you're more patient I'm sure even better groupings even with a barrel that's broken in properly anyhow so guys remember that uh, loose is fast brakes only slow you down and shotguns have a wider spread have fun and be safe on the range we'll see you next time hey guys so we just had Alyssa get behind the rifle on the bench uh, with a bag underneath the rifle uh, just to see how her accuracy and my accuracy differed with these same rounds and she shot the American Eagle 140 grain open tip match uh, she got a 2.712 inch group and then with the ELDX from Hornady uh, 143 grain she got a 1.624 inch group with the SSTs from Hornady 129 grain she did a 1.262 inch group which uh, is far better than my 3 inch group and with the Hornady ELD 147 match ammunition, she got a 1.906 inch group. So there you go from two different shooters. Um, 
and I believe that she hasn't shot 100 yards for eight months either. I think the last time both of us went out, it was about eight months ago, and we shot 100 yards. So kind of sad, but life gets busy. Anyhow, this is the stuff that uh, this is this this is how we shot. So now you guys have the information. We'll talk. We'll see you later. One more thing I forgot to mention, guys. The trigger on this, I know I had my reserves about the trigger being polymer, but honestly, I'm not adjusting it. I'm not messing with it. It's got perceptively zero creep. It breaks really crisp. Uh, it's just a, a, a little heavy compared to like a Timony or a bench rest or a jewel trigger or anything like that. It, it's exactly what I want in a hunting rifle. For a rifle that's $499, this trigger, it, it really impressed me. Kind of blew my hair back. Uh, the other shooters that shot this rifle, um, the ones that were more used to Timony triggers, jewel triggers, uh, they're really nice triggers out there. They weren't as impressed with it. Um, and I had to remind them what the rifle even cost. So just being a normal trigger that's coming with this rifle, I really think it's worth it. I, I really think it's a really nice trigger. I'm not going to adjust it. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Uh, one more thing about the scope. Patience uh, will overcome a lot of times. This scope was $20 in a discount bin at Gander Mountain. So if you're just patient, guys, if you're looking to build something and you're doing it on a budget, just wait, wait, wait out the rush. You know, don't just go out there and, and spend a bunch of money. Give it a month. You know, it ain't going to hurt you waiting a month. And uh, sometimes you will find a good deal.